Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck, and today I have a question for you. Have you received your tax refund? Join Sunbird to max your refund with this beautiful kinky straight lace wig. Today we're going to be doing a start to finish install, and it's this beautiful kinky straight lace wig. We're going to be doing the install, the style, and all of the above. So if you're interested in seeing how we got this look, keep on watching. So this is what I was looking like, looking real crazy, about to head to Pilates. If you see me on Instagram, you already know the tea. So this is what she looks like straight out of the box. And as I mentioned, this is a 13 by 4 kinky straight lace wig. This one comes in a 150% density as well as a 180% density. I believe mine is 150, but you can check the description box for all the deets. And this is what she looks like on. You guys seen she had an adjustable elastic band and that's what's helping to keep this one super secure i'm gonna go ahead and begin the install process this is for beginners so if you are a beginner and you are a little bit nervous or intimidated by wigs this is going to be the one for you this install is going to be super super easy so the lace is really long i just went ahead and cut off the excess so that it doesn't mess up my eyebrows and of course so i can see right i'm going to also cut off the excess lace around the ears this is to make sure that the wig fits me perfectly and this is what she looks like from the back Back. as i mentioned she's 150 percent density she's nice and full but she's not heavy and weighed down the hair is just nice and voluminous and i love that for me you guys already know this honey blonde combo especially in a kinky straight definitely gives what beyonce wears so I'm on Instagram. If you don't follow me there, follow me Ashley B. Deck. I like to give you play by play when I'm installing my wigs and just have a lot of fun with you guys on my day to day. And you can definitely, definitely catch more of like lifestyle stuff over there when I'm not over here. The only customization I did with this one is I did open up the parting or the hairline rather a little bit more. Although it's pre-plucked, I feel like it's always best to go in and just customize it to your own liking. Should you see it fit and I didn't do a whole lot of work it literally was super simple and easy just to go in and just make it look a little bit more thin in the front kind of more so like what my natural hair would look like and I'm jamming out to my music music is life music is healing music is everything to me when I'm in a bad mood when I'm in a good mood when I'm working when I'm focused always have some music going on somewhere so now we're going to start the install process i went ahead and make sure the hair was pulled back i also did go in and straighten out the hairline with my electric hot comb for me this step is kind of essential just because it like when the hairline is like super straightened and those like roots are like really 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 straight it makes for an even more seamless install whether you are doing baby hair or not it just gets everything out of the way like when the hair and the hairline is frizzy or you know super curly it may just interfere with that flawless hairline that we all love so much I'm going to go ahead and add my adhesive and then I secured it with my melt belt from bdeckbeauty.com. This is going to help it to dry and stay in place. And then I'm just going to blow dry on a cool setting. And this step, I kind of just took my time until it was completely dry. This step is something that you can definitely allow to air dry. So you basically would apply the wig band and then just move on and work on different sections of the hair while it dries naturally. Or you can just take a break altogether. But you guys already know, as I mentioned, I had like 30 to 45 minutes to install stuff and get out of the door for Pilates and I wanted to make sure it was completely dry before I moved that melt belt and it definitely was so now that I removed it I'm just going in and making sure everything is flat and ready to go I'm definitely in no rush to move or remove the elastic band because I do want to make sure that it's extremely dry if it's even a little bit more wet you're not going to get the same result so now we have the hairline flat and we have the parting flat let's take more flicks for Instagram right Again, play by play is always on the gram. And we did use that wax stick paired with the electric hot comb. And what do we call that? The dynamic duo. I love this step because even though the hair is nice and full and voluminous, it's flat around the hairline and the parting. And that is where it counts the most. Now I'm going to remove the excess lace. And I'm just using some regular good old hair scissors. Nothing special, but I do love mine because they're black and they're cute and they're aesthetic. And I'm just going in making sure it's not too uniform around the hairline. One thing I find is that whenever I cut the excess lace off first and bond it down, the hairline is not as clean as it is when I do it the way we did it today. So that is why I did it this way. And the only thing about this way is that it kind of will have that white cast 
after you cut off the excess lace. So I did go ahead and apply a little bit more product and put the melt belt back on. And I'm just going to go ahead and work on the remainder of the hair while that does its thing. I applied zero product to the ends of the hair and I did just run over it with the flat iron. If you want to, you can just section off really small pieces and use the chase method to do like a silk press on it and it'll give you more of a like relaxed look. I didn't want that. I still wanted it to be nice and full in its definite natural state, but I did want it to look a lot more clean and polished and that is why we did this step and you guys seen the comparison of the left side versus the right side. It definitely didn't like change the texture or like thin it out by any means. It just made the entire look a lot more smooth and finished. And now we are pretty much done with the install. I'm going to go ahead and work on the parting and making sure the hairline looks flawless. But we are going to style her because this was just was such an easy install. I love me a good kabuki brush. I remember back in, what was it, like the earlier 2000s, kabuki brushes were the thing. I feel like I need to bring it back because I was obsessed. After we added the product or the powder to the hairline, I did go ahead and set it with a little bit of hairspray because it still will give that white cast until you set it and it melts in, just like your makeup. And now I'm going to work on a style. I did opt for two French braids or cornrows or Dutch braids. I'm not which, sure which one you would call this, but it's just regular old cornrows. And I just make sure that I use the electric hot comb around the parting to make sure that everything is super flat and neat. And I'm just going in and braiding the best I can. I can braid decent. I don't braid super tight or professional, but I do enough or good enough to make sure that my hair looks good and my kids hair look good. So to me, that's all that matters but definitely practice makes perfect. Also, if you want to do the style, I highly recommend doing the braids on a wig kit before you install so that you can really get in there and get your braids how you want them. But mine came out amazing and I loved it. I'm also going to add some concealer to the parting and that's pretty much it. As I mentioned, this is definitely going to be the perfect wig to spend your money on for tax season. When you get your tax refund, head over to Sunburn Hair and get you some good new tresses. They have so many different options to offer and of course i got your back everything is linked and listed in the description box okay ladies so we are done with this look mama is headed to pilates i have to be there at seven and it is 6 43 which means i literally need to grab my socks and a jacket because it's cold outside and go i also need to take a couple quick pictures just in case i sweat too hard to do so when i get back i am not stressed because guess what I'm gonna go and kick some butt. So this is the final look. And again, this one came from Summer Hair. This is the packaging as always. And inside you did get this. And inside you did get your wig caps. This really, really, really pretty melt belt. I might actually wear that to Pilates. And this bag of goodies. Inside the bag of goodies, you did get another wig caps. You did get a melt belt, a second melt belt, and then you also got your lashes and this kabuki brush. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Direct link to this wig is in the description box. you also find lists and links of everything we use to complete this look. Let me give you one more spin. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!